What's up, Say Less fam? Back again with another YouTube video providing value to y'all. We're gonna get straight into it. Subscribe down below for more content. This is what you can do if your brand is failing, if you feel as nothing is working out, if you feel as you're taking 10 steps forward to take 10 steps back, if you're feeling as you have your back against the wall, you don't have no more money, whatever the situation may be, we all, I have been there before. With my brand, Say Less Lifestyle, there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs you experience as an entrepreneur. Whether that be life problems, whether that be family problems, whatever the situation may be, there's things that are gonna hit you that are gonna try to bring you down. It's as simple as that gets. Now, by, first of all, the first of the first is your brand doesn't fail unless you decide that it's gonna fail. By you actually quitting. You gotta listen here, if you don't quit, you're not gonna fail, it's impossible. If you keep trying to get up every single day and try to get 1% better than you were yesterday and get your brand 1% better than you were yesterday, then your brand will not fail. You might not make it, but your brand won't fail either. And you gotta understand, through struggle and self-discipline comes wisdom. You know, it's gonna get hard. I'm not a motivational speaker. I have a motivational brand called Say Less Lifestyle established in 2020. And like I said, I'm just using my experiences through my successes and failures to help guide y'all to success and, and guide y'all to your own path. Success is different for everybody. Everybody has their own path. Everybody has their own lane they're supposed to stay in. Everybody has a time they're supposed to make it. Just make sure you're not doing anything to hold yourself back from making it. Whether that be personally, whether that be business, whatever the situation may be, whether that be an environment, whether that be somebody near you, don't let that them or that or what hold you back. Because like I said, if you don't quit, your brand will not fail. Keep trying because you will make it. With persistence will come success. Persistence is the power of will mixed with effort. It's up to you to search down for that power of will to get your brand where you want it to become. Click the link in my description if you need coaching to help you get there. A mentor can help you because he can help you prepare for mistakes that you were gonna make or you made and you have a hard time finding a solution to them. Whatever the situation may be, all problems have a solution. And if you started this brand, there's no reason to give up. You put too much into it. It's not even about putting much into it, but you reap what you sow. What if you give up now but the benefits that you are gonna reap were two months away from where you are now, but the hardest times are now. You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay locked in. You know, I do talk a lot about my page about motivation and trying to motivate y'all because that's what it comes down to. At the end of the day, we all feel like sometimes we don't wanna keep going. At the end of the day, we all feel discouraged at times. And I'm here to help y'all and know that I'm with y'all going through the same thing. But at the end of the day, it's your attitude that matters. Do you have a positive mental attitude even though you're going through hurt and pain? Even though your business is struggling right now, do you have a positive mental attitude? And this is the number one thing you need to do if your business is, if you think your business is failing, you need to change your approach. Change your approach to life, change your perspective, change your approach as far as getting what you want. I need you to come up with a definite chief aim. What is your main purpose with this brand? And go after it full force and write a definite plan on how you're gonna get there. And look at it and read it every day and do all what you can in your power to get to that point through your definite plan. Without a plan, you plan to fail. When you start your brand, you need to set goals. You need to then make plans on how you're gonna reach those goals whether it be financially, whether it be mentally, whether it be spiritually, whatever the situation may be. Figure out what you want. Figure out your main purpose with you, having your clothing brand. Get back to the drawing board. Go back to the basics. Your brand will not fail. Think about the reason why you started. It's going to get hard, man. You're going to get discouraged. If you can't think of ideas, it's okay. Don't let one situation determine where, determine your future. Live in the present. Look forward to the future and learn from the past. 
You're more than capable to get what you want in this life. I came from nothing. I built my brand from zero dollars to now a consistent six figure business. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that that it's possible. I didn't get a handout with this clothing brand industry stuff. I had to learn it for myself. I knew nothing when I started three years ago. And look where I'm at three years ago. Three, three years later, look where I'm at. And I'm not saying that to brag. No, I'm just saying that there's been progress. If you cut it short now, there will be no progress. Use the pain as motivation. Go back to the drawing board, change your approach. Figure out how to provide more value. Figure out what you can change. Figure out the things that are holding you back. If you need help figuring out those things, click the link in my description on my one-on-one -on -one coaching or even get my ebook that it may help you get the accurate knowledge on what you need to know to get your brand where you need to be. You shouldn't be putting all this work for no benefit. And if there's no benefit, there's something you're doing wrong or you just have to stay down until you come up and keep on going. Both, really. Change your approach. If there's something you think that is holding you back, eliminate it. Elim eliminate all limiting beliefs. This adversity should make you do more and get stronger. This adversity and these setbacks should not make you throw in a towel, but make you that much more equipped for when you do become and do what you plan to do. Because if you don't go through these things, you can't handle what's about to come your way, whether it be positively, whether it be negatively. Because the bigger, better you get, the more problems are meeting you. And guess what? All you gotta do is get stronger. There's nothing else to be said. Say this lifestyle co-founder Trent Scott checking out. Get up, take action on your life. Subscribe down, turn on post notifications for no more for more content. I appreciate y'all. We all in this together. And uh, hey, it's time to go. Let's lock in and stay focused. Come up with that definite chief aim. Come up with that definite plan for your brand and take it to the next level. Let's go.